I'm Judy Vitale of ReadTheStars.com with your weekly horoscopes at work for December 2nd through the 8th, the end of 2013 already. It's the end, but it's a new beginning this week as well. We have a new moon. That is a time when we want to make a start for something. It's in Sagittarius, so this is great for publishing, legal issues, the legal profession, of course, philosophy, studying, and foreign travel, anything that has to do with the expansion of the mind. Um, so if you even want to take up meditation, great time to start this Monday. And hey, it's the beginning of the holiday season. Who doesn't need some quiet time? The other big news this week will be Mercury entering the sign of Sagittarius on Wednesday and Mars entering the sign of Libra, where it's going to stay for some time. Those of you who are, um, have Aries and Libra, especially in your chart, your relationships are going to become little more active and a lot more testy than they have been in the past. Those of you with Cancer and Capricorn, challenges will arrive, arise and arrive, <laughs> but there will be, you know, people kind of testing you and, and seeing how well you perform your function and stay on your mission. So let's stay focused during this time and really try to draw to us the energy that we need to accomplish our goals. Let's begin. Monday is the new moon. We're going to have the moon in Sagittarius as of 1.31 a.m. Eastern, and the new moon will take place in the evening. If you have a moment, take a fresh candle, light it for yourself, think about what you really want in your life, and then ask for the power to manifest it. You have it within you. All you have to do is give yourself permission to tap on it. On Tuesday, the, we're going to have a nice little configuration with Mercury and Mars, it's their um, last stand in the signs that they're in. So this is their last little conversation in Scorpio and Virgo. Uh, it can be an emotional time. It can also be a time to take care of details of things that we have to kind of go under the rug to go, especially if you've been trying to hide from your finances. This is a good time to clear things up and really get yourself set and make a, a budget that's workable for you, especially with the season arising the way that it is. On Wednesday, Mercury will be going into Sagittarius that day. The moon will be in Capricorn. Um, as that occurs, people will be more serious. It'll be easier to be businesslike. And the Mercury in Sagittarius will help you take whatever it is that you started on Monday and really put it into form because Mercury's function is to take ideas and put, a, put them into form. Usually words, but also things such as music and art and dance. Any way that you can express a feeling or something that doesn't have a way of communicating, Mercury communicates it. And so we tap on it in order to do that. Thursday, Moon and Capricorn 2, probably the most solid day for business. Not a whole lot else going on, just that nice Capricorn Moon giving us the ability to be practical and to see things from the bird's eye view. Friday, we're going to have a void of course moon early, early in the morning, and then things shift into Aquarius. Mercury will be squared to Neptune. A good day for imagination, a good day for, gee, if I could make the world a better place, how could I do it? Often is a, a good way to come up with ideas, even just for um, improving your, our own personal lives. So um, use that, but look out for, for a kind of, you know, those castles in the air that we tend to build. With Mercury, square Neptune, we do tend to see and believe what we want rather than what's really there. On Saturday, the moon will be void, of course, all day long. Watch your shopping, watch planning things, make sure that you're ready for anything. It's those little last minute details like, did I really go to the right address? Is this so-and-so's phone number? Uh-oh. Make sure you have all your P's and Q's in order when you set out and you'll avoid some of these foibles. Mars moves into Libra, 3.41 p.m. on Saturday. When Mars moves into Libra, we all become a little bit uncomfortable with our assertive energy. Libra is a sign that likes everybody to be at peace. Libra people want everyone to like them. So when they feel this aggravating energy and they see themselves being assertive or even aggressive, they tend not to like themselves. If you have a Libra in your life, be extra nice to them at this time because they need it. And remember that the rest of the cardinal signs will be rising to some challenges as well. And those of you who have Gemini and Aquarius in your charts will find a little bit more energy for your mental idea, you know, your mental activities at this point in time. Sunday looks really dreamy and peaceful. The moon going into Pisces, a time for reflection, a time to kind of 
and then begin again and rest and just let the day unfold. And with the moon conjunct Neptune, it could be a good day for one of those marathons or where you watch the same TV show and catch up with all of the episodes or even a great time to be in love. So that is the whole week in an encapsulated little video there for you. If you would like to have your chart read by me, a real astrologer, please contact me at readthestars.com through the private video reading page and fill out your information. Send me $19.95 via PayPal or a personal check if that is your preference. And we will get that working for you. There's so much coming up in December. And of course, there are the holidays. If you have a holiday gift you'd like to give someone, a private video reading can be really helpful for them. So I think it will be nice for you to consider that as well. So come on to my page and check me out. And I will be back in touch with you very, very soon with some more planetary antics. Till then, you can also reach me at Judy, J-U-D-I, at readthestars.com.